My name is Dr. Betty Mudoni Gikonyo. I'm a pediatric cardiologist and the chief executive officer of the Karen Hospital. This pandemic of COVID-19 has taken us all by surprise. And it is not something that we have been prepared for, but it's something that we must, of necessity, prepare for. The elderly are more predisposed to getting the coronavirus, COVID-19. And also, the elderly, even when they have a mild disease, are tending to die more than the younger population. So it's very, very important that the elderly take special care, special precautions to ensure that they keep away from this virus. Two things that we need to talk about the elderly. One is an elderly person who has no other disease. That is, you are normal, you are 65, but you have no other pre-existing disease. You are at risk. The other group of the elderly who are even at a higher risk are those who are over 65 years of age, and at the same time may have heart disease of any type, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, and very importantly, any condition that affects the lungs and their sinuses. The advice that we give and that is coming up very clearly, that if you are over 65 years of age, first and foremost is you observe all the precautionary measures that have been prescribed. The first and foremost is that you ensure that you wash your hands as many times as possible. Make sure that you, after washing your hands very effectively with a lot of soap, wash properly between your fingers. Make sure that you, even the back of your hands, when you dry your hands, and after you have dried your hands, it's best if you use a sanitizer and then use the sanitizer and use one that has been shown to be effective. Know the source of your sanitizer because you want only those which are credible sources. Number two is you need to ensure that you avoid you know, people who are sick. It means, therefore, relatives who may be sick do not come to visit you. Neither do you go to visit people who are sick in hospital. Number three is that you avoid social places, including our very beloved church. We want you to, li to listen to your service at home and be content and that the Lord will hear your prayers wherever you are. Avoid any other social places like pubs, clubs, chamas, any places where there are more than five people gathered together. We will stay safe if we keep within our homes, stay home if we keep away from anybody who is likely you know, to be unwell. And if you are unwell, please do not hesitate to call your medical provider. You can either call a doctor if you know one, or call a health facility and tell them about your symptoms, those symptoms of cough, sneezing, any form of pain in your throat or in your chest. And if you have a fever, that's also very, very important. And indeed, at the end of it all, we shall conquer this pandemic. It is here with us now. We trust it will not be with us tomorrow. But while it is with us, let us do everything possible to ensure that we are safe. And as we stay safe, our loved ones will be that much better. So since I'm in that age group, let us take care of ourselves and ensure that we see our great, great grandchildren. <laughs>